Did you ever wonder whether a scientist can actually create Frankenstein monster? Well, I don't know much about that, but I can at least make a human brain. In my PhD project, I'm investigating Parkinson's disease, a disease that primarily affects the brain. But how do scientists in general study diseases? Let's look into panel A. Imagine that a patient has blood or skin condition. A doctor can simply perform a biopsy or simply said, take a very small piece of this disease tissue, which scientists can then observe, perform experiments um, to find a cure, for example. But studying brain diseases like Parkinson's, well, <laughs> I cannot really open someone's head to take a piece of brain out without, you know, without disabling the person. So this is why I simply grow a brain in the lab. And it's all possible thanks to the amazing stem cells, panel B. Imagine, when a baby is just conceived, this first cell is called stem cell, from which all the cells in our body come from, depending on which genes are active. Let's say genes A, B, C are active, a stem cell converts into brain cells. Genes J, K, L are active, a stem cell converts into skin cells, and so on. But how do we get stem cells from adult person? Let's look into panel C. An amazing group of scientists discovered the genes that make stem cell a stem cell. And what they did next was even more amazing because they took a skin from adult person, then they applied certain molecules to activate these stem genes until eventually skin cell reverted back into this universal cell type called the stem cell. In the University of Luxembourg, we take this amazing technology even one step further. So we are collecting skin samples from Parkinson's patients and we are reprogramming them into stem cells, which now can become almost any cell type. But we're stimulating their growth into brain cells. Eventually, these cells start to clump together, forming small spheres which grow and expand until they turn into these small brains or mini brains. And let me tell you something, these brains are really amazing because they contain different cell types that we see in adult human brain. The neurons here are connected, they're communicating, and these brains even create electrical impulses, just like a real brain. And if you think this is amazing, when just imagine that now scientists can create almost any type of tissue or organ in our body. And to take it even one step further, soon we might be able to grow full-size functional organs which can be used for transplantation, for example, and save millions of lives because now patients wouldn't have to wait for a matching organ donor. They could just give away some skin to grow an organ of their own. <laughs> really amazing.